Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Silvana and in today's video we will do a dynamic yoga workout combining poses to stretch and strengthen your whole body to help you feel energized, balanced and refreshed. So whenever you are ready, find a quiet place, roll out your mat and let's get started. Let's start today's class in a child pose. Come towards the end of your mat, take your knees as wide as the mat and let your hips sink towards your heels. Reach both arms out in front of you and place the forehead onto the mat. Close your eyes and just take a moment to connect with your breath. Breathing deeply in through the nose. And exhale slowly out. Let the hips sink towards your heels. Inhale. And exhale. Create length in your spine. Taking one more deep breath here. And exhale out. Slowly walk your hands over towards the left side of your mat and stack your right hand on top of the left hand. Rest the forehead in front of your left knee and let your chest come onto your left thigh. Keep on pressing the hips back towards your heels. Relax the right shoulder a bit further down and breathe into your right side body. Inhale. Exhale, walk back to center and then over to your right side. Left hand on top of the right hand. Relax the head. Breathe into your left side body. Press the hips a little bit further back towards the heel. One more breath here. Relax the shoulders. And come back to center again. Taking one more breath in your child pose. And then lift the head and the hips and find a tabletop position on your mat, hands underneath your shoulders and knees hip width apart. Let's start with our cat and cow. Inhale as you draw the shoulders back, gaze up to the ceiling. And exhale as you hunch, tuck the tailbone under, belly in, chin to chest. Inhale, arch through the back, dropping the belly, shoulders back, open the chest. Exhale, round through the spine, feel the stretch in your upper back. Keep on going at your own pace, connecting the movement with your breath, leaving a little pause between every inhale and every exhale. Taking one more breath like this. And after your next exhale, coming back to neutral again into your tabletop position. Tuck your toes under and slowly sit back on your heels. Reach your arms up over the head and create fists with your hands, rotating out your wrists. Keeping the gaze down, head is relaxed. Long spine. One more breath here. And then release the arms again. Interlock your fingers behind your back and open the chest. Arch through the back, draw the shoulder plates together and gaze up to the ceiling. Feel your collarbones opening. Inhale. Exhale, release. Reach the arms out in front of you, extended puppy pose. Hips in line with your knees. Rest either the forehead or the chin on your mat and open up the chest towards the mat. Keep on reaching through the fingertips, create length in your side body. Inhale and exhale release lift the head lower the hips all the way down and take the hands to the outside of your mat pressing the fingertips into the mat inhale press through the hands open the chest to cobra 
Exhale, release back down, forehead to the mat. Inhale again, lifting up, open the chest. Exhale as you release, moving with your breath, taking two more breaths like this. Feel the chest opening, let the head drop back as you inhale. Exhale, release all the way down. Take your hands next to the chest. Press through the hands, tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back into a downward facing dog. Take a moment here and just walk it out, bending one knee at a time, pedaling the heels further down. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs and eventually find your full downward dog. Hands shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. Inhale, lift the head, lower the hips and find your plank pose. Shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, press back up, downward dog. Again, inhale, coming forward to plank. Exhale, lift up from the core, downward dog. Inhale, coming forward to plank, push the mat away. Exhale, downward dog. And one more time. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Shift the weight into your right foot. Lift your left leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Inhale, bend your left knee. Exhale, pull the knee forward to the chest. Step the foot in between your hands. Low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up over the head. And exhale, let the hips sink further forward and down. Reach through the fingertips, one more breath. Release your left arm and wrap your left arm around your back. Inhale, exhale, bend over to your left side. Make the rib hip connection on the left side, breathing into your right side body. Inhale, and exhale, release the hands, half split. Let the hips sink back. In line with your right knee and extend the left leg out in front of you. Inhale, creates length in your spine. Exhale, let the upper body fold further forward over your left leg and energetically pull the left heel a little bit towards you. Feel the stretch in the front of your leg. Bend the front knee again. Push the hips forward, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step back, plank pose. Shoulders in line with the wrists, engage the core, squeeze the buttocks, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the mat, eight links pose. Inhale, lower the hips, lift the head and chest, baby cobra, squeeze the buttocks. And then lift the palms off of the mat, so your lower back is doing all the work. Either stay here or interlock your fingers behind the back. Lifting the chest up higher. Imagine someone is pulling you up from the arms. Inhale. Exhale, release hands next to the chest. Lift up from the core. Downward facing dog. Well done. Let's come back to our downward dog and plank pose combo. Inhale, lift the head, lower the hips to plank pose, engage the core. Exhale, lift back up, relax the head. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Keep on going at your own pace. Let's do this two more times, working the chest, the core, the shoulders. One more, moving with the breath. And then find your downward dog again. Shift the weight into your left leg. Lift the right leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Inhale, bend the right knee. Exhale, pull the knee forward to the chest and step the foot in between your hands. Low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up over the head. Exhale, push the hips forward. Reach through the fingertips. One more breath. Release your right arm, wrapping the arm around the back. Inhale and exhale, bend over to your right side while still pushing the hips forward. Create length in the side body. One more breath here. 
and release the hands half split take your hips back in line with your left knee extend the front leg inhale create length in your spine and exhale hinge forward from the hips fold over your right leg try to square the hips as much as possible energetically pull the right heel towards you feel the deep stretch in the back of your right leg breathing into that deep hamstring stretch one more inhale exhale bend the front knee let the hips sink forward tuck the back toes lift the back knee and take your right leg back to plank core engaged squeeze the buttocks push the mat away with your hands press the fingertips into the mat inhale shift the weight forward and exhale chaturanga Inhale, upward facing dog, press through the hands, lift the head and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here and center yourself. Well done. Taking one more breath here. And then lift your head, gaze between your hands and walk the feet forward in between your hands, standing forward fold. Bringing the heels and big toes together, chair pose, bend the knees, inhale, lift the arms up and exhale, sink the hips even lower, engage the core, shift the weight into your heels, inhale, exhale, hands in front of your heart, inhale, exhale, twist to your left side, hooking the right elbow over your left knee and gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale and exhale, change, twist to your right side, left elbow over the right knee, gaze over your right shoulder, keep the weight back in the heels, hips low, inhale, exhale to center, inhale, reach your arms up over the head again, back to your chair pose and exhale, fold over the leg, stretch it out. Inhale, half a lift, creating a flat back. Exhale, fold over the legs again. Bend the knees and step your right leg back, high lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, kick the right heel further back, strong legs. Keep your weight equally balanced. Hips are facing forward. Shoulders in line with your hips. Inhale. Exhale, Superman, reach the arms out in front, create a nice diagonal and take your fingers, shoulders, hips and right heel in one line. Inhale, exhale, standing split, fold over your left leg, kick the right leg up high, fingertips on the mat or maybe use your left hand, getting hold of your left ankle and pull yourself further forward. One more breath here, half moon, keep the left fingertips down, reach your right arm up to the ceiling, stack the hips, inhale and exhale, land in warrior two, arms in line with the shoulders, strong core, inhale, exhale, peaceful warrior, bend back from the upper back, Right hand to the right leg, gaze up, inhale, exhale, triangle pose, extend the front leg, reach your left arm forward and down, either wrapping your left middle and index finger around your left big toe or place the fingertips onto your ankle or shin bone, reach your right arm up high, inhale here, exhale, reverse triangle, Bend back, keep the front leg long, inhale, exhale, wheel both hands down, bend the front knee, simple twist, lifting the back heel, left arm lifts, gaze up to the ceiling, inhale, exhale, step back, side plank, either stack or stagger the feet on top of each other, engage the side body, push the hips up high, Inhale, exhale, plank pose. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Lift Up from the Core, Downward Facing Dog. Well done. Take a moment here, connecting with your breath. Keep the weight equally balanced in both hands and both feet, tailbone pointing up high. One more breath here. And then lift your head gaze between the hands. Walk your feet forward again, back into your standing forward fold. And then walk your feet apart to the edge of your mat for Malasana Squat. Toes turned outwards, let your hips sink low and take your hands in front of your heart. Use the triceps to gently press the knees a little bit outwards. Long spine. Release your right hand down. Left arm lifts up and back. Twist and gaze up towards your left hand. Keep the weight back. Inhale. Exhale back to center. Hands in front of your heart. Let's take it to the other side. Left hand down. Reach your right arm back and gaze towards your right hand. Twist your upper body while still pushing the knees back. Inhale. Exhale back to center. One more breath here. Hands in front of the heart. And exhale. Release. Extend the legs. Fold over the legs and heel to your feet together. Shift the weight to the toes. Head relax. One more breath. Chair pose. Bend the knees. Reach your arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Let the hips sink further back. Press the thighs together. Weight is in the heels. Engage the core. Draw the belly button in. Feel the upward pull from the arms. Inhale. And exhale. Fold over the legs. Stretch it out. Inhale. Half a lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Bend the knees, step your left leg back, high lunge. Inhale as you reach your arms up. And exhale as you kick the left heel further back. Keep the weight equally balanced in both legs. Shoulders in line with your hips. Inhale. Exhale, superman, engage the core, reach your arms forward, create a nice long line, hands, shoulders, hips and heel, feel the fire in your right thigh, inhale, and exhale, standing split, shift away to your front leg, kick the left leg up and back, fingertips on the mat or you can use your right hand to pull yourself a little bit further forward. Keep on lifting the left leg. One more breath. Half moon. Right fingertips on the mat. Lift the left arm up and gaze up to the ceiling. Stagger the hips on top of each other. Keep your left leg engaged. Find balance. Lighten up the right fingertips. Inhale. And exhale and in warrior two. Arms in line with the shoulders. Keep the gaze through your right fingertips. Engage the core. Feel the hips opening up. Inhale. And exhale, peaceful warrior. Bend back from your upper body. Gaze up to the ceiling. Right arm by your ear. Left hand on the back of your left leg. Keep the front knee bent. One more inhale. Exhale, triangle pose, lift your upper body, extend the front leg, inhale and exhale, right fingertips coming to the right big toe or you can place the hand onto your right foot or shin bone, left arm reaching up high. Keep the front leg as long as possible and energetically pull the right heel a little bit towards you to deepen the stretch in the hamstring. One more breath here. And release. Reversed triangle. Lift your upper body up. Inhale. Exhale. Lean back from the upper body. Left hand on the back of the left leg. Right arm reaches back. Inhale. 
Exhale, wheel both hands down, bend the front knee and find simple twist. Lift the left heel, right arm lifts, gaze up towards the right hand. Maybe pull the right hip back a little more to deepen the twist. One more inhale. And as you exhale, find your side plank. Drop the left heel, take your right foot back and either stack or stagger your feet. Pushing the hips up high, engage the obliques. One more inhale. And in exhale, find your plank pose. Shoulders over the wrists, core engaged. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open the chest, draw the shoulders back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here and center yourself. Relax your head. Soften the ankles and let your heels sink a little bit further down. Shift the weight to your right foot. Lift the left leg up. Three-legged dog. Keep the hips as square as possible. Inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee. Pull the knee to the chest and then step the foot in between your hands. High lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, kicking the right heel back a little more. One more inhale. Exhale, take your hands in front of your heart. Inhale here. Exhale, twist to your left side and hook your right elbow over your left knee. Twist your upper body, gaze over your left shoulder. Try to keep the hands in front of your chest. Pressing the left palm into the right palm. One more inhale. And exhale, turn the head, gaze to your toes. Stay in the twist and step your right foot forward to join the left into a twisted chair. Just one breath here. And untwist. Chair pose. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Extend the legs. Inhale. Half a lift. Flat back. And exhale. Fold over your legs. Bend the knees and step your right leg back. High lunge. Inhale as you lift the arms. Exhale as you sink a little bit deeper into the lunge, pressing the right heel back. Inhale. Exhale, Superman. Create that diagonal with your upper body. Inhale here, create more length. Exhale, standing split. Upper body folds forward, kick the right leg up. Maybe get hold of your left foot with your left hand. Either stay here or bend the right knee, reach back with your left hand and get hold of the foot, pulling the heel towards your glute. Head relaxed. Keep that balance. One more breath. Half moon. Extend the right leg. Left fingertips down and reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Stack the hips on top of each other. Open up to your right side. Inhale. Exhale, step back, warrior two. Right toes in a 90 degree ankle outwards. Arms in line with the shoulders. Now wrap your right arm around your back. Inhale and exhale, peaceful warrior. Lean back from your upper body. Pull the right shoulder further back. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, left hand on the inside of the left foot. Either stay here or you can find a bind. Wrap your left arm around the lower leg and join the fingers at the back. Maybe extend the front leg a little bit like you did in your triangle pose, stretching out the left hamstring. Keep on pulling the right shoulder back. One more breath here. And reverse triangle. Release the bind. Left arm lifts up and back. Inhale. Exhale. Wheel both hands down. Simple twist. Left arm lifts. Right heel lifts. Gaze up to the ceiling. Inhale here. 
exhale to your side plank left leg back maybe lift the left leg up this time engaging all those muscles in the leg lifting up one more inhale and exhale release to your plank pose inhale come to your tippy toes and exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog center yourself relax the head shift the weight into your left foot and lift your right leg up and back three-legged dog inhale driving the heel up high exhale pull the right knee to the chest step the foot in between your hands high lunge inhale as you reach your arms up and exhale as you kick your left heel further back strong legs shoulders in line with your hips engage the core inhale here exhale take your hands in front of your heart inhale exhale prayer twist left elbow hooks over your right knee gaze over your right shoulder Pressing the right palm into the left palm, keep the hands in front of your chest. Keep in the twist, gaze to the toes and step your left foot forward to join the right. Twisted chair. Keep the weight back, hips low, feel the fire in your thighs. One more breath here and twist inhale reach your arms up exhale sink the hips a bit lower chair pose inhale create length in the spine exhale fold over your legs relax the head inhale half a lift flat back exhale fold over the legs bend the knees stepping the left leg back high lunge inhale as you reach your arms up exhale kick the left heel a little further back inhale exhale superman reach the arms forward create length engage the core create a nice long line one more inhale and exhale fold over the right leg standing split kicking the left leg up high get hold of your right foot with your right hand pull yourself a little bit further forward you can either stay here keep on kicking the left heel up high or you can bend your left knee get hold of the left foot with your right hand pulling the heel towards the buttocks while still folding forward the weight is in your right toes one more breath here half moon right fingertips down extend the left leg left arm lifts hold that balance lighten up through the right fingertips stack the hips on top of each other strong left leg keep on lifting the leg up one more breath exhale warrior two Stepping the left leg back, arms in line with the shoulders. Engage the core, keep the weight equally balanced in both legs. Gaze through the right fingertips. Inhale. And exhale. Wrap the left arm around your back. Inhale, reach your right arm forward. Exhale, peaceful warrior gaze up to the ceiling keep the front knee bent make that rib hip connection on your left side one more inhale exhale extended side angle left hand or fingertips on the inside of the left foot pull the left shoulder back gaze up either stay here or you can find your bind finding the fingers behind your back Keep on pulling the left shoulder back, gaze upwards. Either stay here or maybe extend the front leg a little bit, like you did in your triangle pose, stretching out the hamstring. Keep the bind. Keep on pulling the hips back, extending the front leg. 
one more breath. Reverse triangle. Inhale, right arm lifts up and back. Gaze up. Exhale, be both arms down. Lift the left heel. Right arm lifts, simple twist. Gaze up to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, step your right leg back. Side plank. Maybe lift the right leg. Engage all those muscles in the leg. Keep on lifting. One more inhale. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, come to the tippy toes. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, release the knees and find your child pose. Well done. Take a moment here and just re-energize your body. Let the hips sink to the heels. Rest the forehead on the mat. Gently pressing the palms into the mat to create length in the spine. Inhale. And exhale out. Take a moment here. Finding that deep yoga breath. Taking one more breath here. And then slowly lift the head, rolling the spine up, coming to seated on your heels. Let's find an extended puppy pose here again. Keeping your hips in line with your knees and reach both arms out in front. Either place the forehead or the chin onto the mat and open up the chest towards the mat. Keep on reaching through the fingertips. Feel a stretch in the shoulders. Create length in your side body. Inhale. And exhale, release. Lift the head, lower the hips all the way down and find Sphinx Pose. Keeping your hands, elbows and shoulders in one line. Chest lifted, squeeze the buttocks. Elbows in front of the chest. Inhale. And exhale, press through the hands, extend the arms and find your swan pose, lifting the chest up higher. Feel the work in your lower back. Keep on squeezing the glutes. Inhale. Exhale, release the forehead or the chin onto the mat. Take the hands next to the chest. Elbows are pointing back. Feet together and then bend your right knee. Flex your right foot. Keep your left leg long and place your left knee or shin bone onto the sole of your right foot. Square the hips. Make sure the hips stay square to the mat. Resting the chin on the mat, but if you feel the neck, keep the forehead down. One more breath here. And release. Bringing the left leg back down and extend the right leg. Let's change sides. Bend the left knee, flex the left foot, squeeze the buttocks, lift the right leg, keep the right leg long and place the right leg on the sole of the left foot. Either the knee or the shin bone is resting on the foot. Hips are square, chest is square. Feel the work in the lower back. Lifting the leg up high. Inhale. Exhale, release. Extend both legs. Press through the hands. Bend the knees and find your child pose. Let your hips sink to the heels and release any tension from your lower back. Inhale. And exhale out. Taking one more breath here and then release. Walk the hands towards you, lift your upper body up and extend both legs out in front of you. Scooping a little bit forward so you come to a seat at the front of your mat. Bend the knees, bringing the knees and feet together and then let your knees fall outward so the soles of the feet are touching. Get hold of your toes and bring the heels closer towards the hips for butterfly pose. 
feel the hips opening up. Maybe flatter your knees a little bit up and down, warming up the hip joints. Keep your spine long, crown of the head is lifting up. Keep on flattering the knees up and down, stretching out those inner thighs. One more breath. And then coming to a stop again. Wrap your middle and index finger around your big toes. Keep the core engaged, shift the weight back so you balance on your tailbone and then slowly extend both legs out to the side. Kicking into your hands, lifting the knees up towards the chest. Crown of the head is still reaching up to the ceiling spine long and then try to bring your feet together, hold that balance and let go of the legs. Feel the work in the core. Boat pose. Half boat. Bring your lower back down. Keep the shoulders and the chest lifted. Long legs. Keep the legs hovering over the mat. Maybe reach the arms up over the head for an extra challenge. Roll to your left side body. Keep the arms and legs long. Feet together. Feel the obliques work. Back to center, to the other side. Hold it there. Just one more breath. And back to center, half boat. One more breath here. And release. Well done. And just bend both knees. Hug the knees into your chest. And rock a little bit from side to side, massaging the spine. Releasing any tension from your lower back. Relax the shoulders. Extend your left leg all the way out and just pull the right knee closer to the chest, opening up the hip. Rotate your right ankle first to one side and then to the other side. Coming to a stop again and extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. Interlock your fingers behind the hamstring or the calf muscle and flex your right foot, kicking the heel up high. Inhale, creating a little bit more length in the leg and exhale, gently pull the leg a little bit closer, stretch it all out. Inhale. And exhale, release, bend the knee, extend the leg and we change bringing the left knee to the chest now. Interlock your fingers, rotate the left ankle first to one side and then to the other side. Coming to a stop again, extend the left leg up to the ceiling, interlock your fingers either behind the hamstring or the calf muscle and flex your left foot, kicking the heel up high, toes down, inhale and exhale out. Use the deep breath to ease into the stretch. One more inhale, exhale, release, bend the knee and extend the left leg. Bend your right knee again and extend the right leg up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, lift the head and chest and reach for your right ankle. Lift the left leg so your left leg is going to hover over the mat. Keep the core engaged. We do some scissor switches. Let go of the right leg, lift the left leg, pull the left knee to the chest and change. So we exhale, pull the leg. Change, exhale, pull the leg. Another five, four, three, two, one. Let's do ten more. Maybe reach the arms forward. Nine, eight, seven. Keep the chest lifted, core engaged. Five. Four, three, 
two one and release well done bring the knees to the chest relax the head down and rock a little bit from side to side massaging the spine and then bring your legs into a tabletop position and both arms shoulder width away from your body palms face up spinal twist inhale Exhale, let both legs fall over to your left side. Gaze over your right shoulder towards your right hand. And you might want to bring your left hand onto the legs for some extra grounding. Feel your hips coming on top of each other. Notice the rotation in your lower back. Close your eyes. Let your right shoulder plate melt down. Breathing deeply in and out. Let yourself become heavy. Inhale. And exhale. Surrender. Taking one more breath here. And release. Left arm shoulder width away. Inhale. Lift the legs up to center. And exhale, let the knees fall over to your right side now. Stacking the hips on top of each other and gaze towards your left hand. You might want to bring your right hand onto the legs to add some extra weight. Close your eyes. Relax the face. Relax all facial muscles. Inhale. And exhale, become heavy. Taking one more breath here. And release both arms shoulder width away. Inhale, lift the legs up into tabletop. And exhale, release the feet. Extend both legs for our last stretch. Feet together, interlock your fingers, palms up. Reach your arms up over the head. And then stretch out your whole body as if you just woke up. Make yourself very long. Stretch that stretch. And release. Bringing the arms back by your side. For our final pose. Shavasana. Let your toes fall outwards and take the arms a little bit away from your body, palms of your hands facing up to the ceiling. Close your eyes. Take a moment to return to your deep yoga breath. Breathing deeply in through the nose and exhale slowly out. Let the effects of today's practice soak into your body. Inhale. And exhale. Let that feeling of peace and relaxation overcome you. Letting go of any distractions. Become aware of your body. Feel the breath traveling through the body. And with each breath, allow yourself to become more and more relaxed. Awareness of breathing and awareness of relaxation. Inhale and exhale out. Simply be with yourself.
slowly starts to deepen your breath. Introducing some small movements back into your body, wiggling the fingers, toes, and start stretching yourself a little bit. Whenever you are sure that you are awake, roll onto your side first and give your body a few more moments to readjust. And whenever you are ready, slowly coming back to being seated on the mat. Taking your time here, no rush. Finding a cross-legged position and keep your eyes closed. Feel the energy going through your body. Enjoy the stillness that surrounds you. And then reach both arms up over the head, interlock your fingers, palms up and give yourself a little side stretch. First to one side, back to the center and to the other side. Back to center, release the arms, warming up the palms, close your eyes and place the palms in front of your closed eyes and slowly open the eyes into your palms and release. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. I hope you enjoyed the yoga workout. If so, please leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos about yoga and Pilates. Hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.